my name is Greta Anderson, and if no one else has said it, let me be the first to formally welcome you to the game of golf. So maybe you've been thinking about getting started in golf and just haven't quite figured out how to get started. Maybe you don't know anyone who's in golf and you just didn't know, but you kind of sort of began developing an interest and stumbled along and found your way to right here, right now. Maybe you come from a family of golfers and you're tired of driving the golf cart. No matter the situation, I want you to know that this is your moment. This is the perfect time to join the great game of golf and the global golf community. So I am just elated that you are here. Golf has so many benefits and I want to talk to you about just a few as we get started in this whole process. The first thing is that golf offers many healthful benefits. It's a great sport. It's a green grass sport. We play it in some of the most beautiful terrains in the world. They're healthy, they're safe, they're away from the traffic, and they allow us a chime to many ways to, it might sound corny, to commune with nature, but we are. It's very nice, it's very serene. For those of us who take on the um, enjoyment of walking golf, it allows us to do just that. Get those steps in that we're always measuring with those devices and that type of thing, with the benefit of not having to deal with traffic, nor man-made cement or hard surfaces. We're walking on grass there, right? So we're outdoors in nature. So we're in the midst of nature when we're playing golf, right? So it's one of the great things. One of the other great things with golf is golf is the original business sport. As I like to call it, it's the original FaceTime. Think of it this way. Where else would you potentially have the opportunity to spend time with and have conversation, whether it deals with business or personal or a combination with senior executives and other people you may not know or, or ever have crossed paths with. It happens on the golf course. It happens often. There's a reason that golf serves as the sport of business. Other sports work with business as well, but no doubt about it, golf is the sport of business and there's a great reason for it. It gives us the time to talk while also enjoying our great sport. We're walking and talking and perhaps riding along. Golf is also very character revealing. So we go through a range of emotions on the golf course, no matter how big or tall, long or short we are as a golfer, we go through it all, the whole gamut of emotions on the golf course. And isn't that what we need to see when we're deciding whether or not someone's a good business partner or someone we wanna deal with um, in any capacity of ways? Golf is a truth teller in that regard. And so it's one of the reasons why uh, golf is the sport of business. In fact, a recent survey indicated that people who play golf, professionals who play golf on average, make at least, I believe the number is 33% more on average in terms of salary and, and, and compensation. That's a big deal. So definitely a benefit there. Additionally, golf is just a great relationship building sport. Now I just spoke about how it serves us well from a business and business relationship capacity, but in terms of friendships, sometimes you're coming to golf and you are ready to become a golfer, but perhaps your friends or your family are not quite there. Maybe their interests lie elsewhere at this time, but that does not mean that you shouldn't become a golfer. And that's where the natural friendship and relationship building that goes on in golf comes in so handily. You will find that you're going to create and, and be a part of a wonderful community of golfers and friendships that will focus on golf, but also spill into many other areas of your life. And if you ask most golfers, they will tell you that they have some really great friendships that emerged and sprung forth all because they were interested in hitting that little white ball, right? So there's the relationship building it. And it's a healthy sport. As I mentioned, we're out in fresh air, we're walking, we're talking, it's stress releasing and it's low impact. So for those of you who may have had health issues or just kind of getting back into the flow of getting healthy, we do enough walking, even if we're on a course where we have to do a bit of riding, that we're taking good steps, we're getting good energy, we're getting that heart rate up just a little bit, but it's a low impact sport. So if you've had a joint replacements, the hips or knees or anything like that, your orthopedist will in all likelihood tell you that go forth and do great things on the fairway because it is a very good sport for you. So there are a million reasons that I could go on and on about for you to enjoy golf, but I want you to know that 
this is your time and it is your time to become a golfer. Now, here's a really important point. Declaring yourself to be a golfer has absolutely nothing to do with your experience level. Today may be the first day that you ever picked up a club or you may have been swinging a club for 40 years. You're one and the same, you're a golfer. Being a golfer about is about what you're feeling inside. You've decided and you're interested in learning and growing in the game of golf and becoming a part of the great community of golf, that makes you a golfer. So are you ready to get ready for a lifetime of great golf? Come on and join us. We're so happy to have you. Welcome.